sketch the graph of the function f that satisfies the given conditions in part a the first condition f prime at negative 3 is equal to same as f prime at 0 equals 0 so derivative at a number equals 0 means negative 3 is a critical number similarly 0 is also a critical number so most probably at negative 3 and 0 will have like concave sorry local minimum or local maximum most probably okay and the function goes to negative infinity when x goes to 3 from right side that's a vertical asymptote at x equals 3 okay same thing here the function goes to positive infinity this time when x goes to 3 from left so we get vertical asymptote at x equals 3 so let's draw that 1 2 3 so we have a vertical asymptote at 3 so let me label vertical asymptote x equals 3 and we also know the function goes to negative infinity here when x approaches to 3 from right side so when x approaches to 3 from right side the function goes to negative infinity eventually the function goes to negative infinity okay so decreases without bound and from left side when x approaches to 3 from left side the function goes to positive infinity okay so this is done and the function goes to negative 1 eventually when x is positive infinity the function goes to negative 1 so when the func when the x is very very big or very very small the function goes to a number that's a horizontal asymptote horizontal asymptote y equals negative 1 on the right side okay only on the right side so x equals y equals negative 1 so negative 1 is here this is negative 1 on, only on the right so I'm going to draw here okay that's horizontal asymptote y equals negative 1 okay so whenever we have two asymptotes so the graph is either like I mean let me show you here when you have asymptotes so the graph will be like that one or that one okay and in this case we have only on the right so either the top or bottom we'll we'll determine in a moment this is decreasing this is increasing okay so this is done now f prime derivative is positive on the intervals in 3 so derivative is bigger than 0 means the function is increasing on negative infinity through negative 3 so all the way to negative 3 and 0 through 3 so all the way to 3 is uh, increasing all the way to negative 3 0 through 3 is increasing and 3 through infinity 3 through infinity increasing so increasing means we cannot have that one so we must have like this so let me finish this part okay because we have two asymptotes horizontal asymptote and vertical asymptote and it's increasing so the graph must be like that one and we can confirm this is concave down 3 through infinity it should be concave down let's go back go down here concave down means second derivative negative okay on 3 through infinity yes this is 3 3 through infinity second derivative negative means concave down so we have concave down case so this uh, and this is done increasing 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 now first derivative is less than 0 that means the function is decreasing on negative 3 0 I mean that's what was left here this is negative 3 so negative 3 through 0 is going down so increasing decreasing so we have a local maximum at negative 3 that's what we have here look 
first derivative at negative 3 equals 0 that means negative 3 is a critical number and we have now local max okay local max at 3 so going up down we'll, we'll, we'll draw in a moment and this part is done second derivative is positive means concave up concave concave up on interval negative 1.5 through 3 so negative this is negative 1 so negative 1.5 sorry yeah negative 1.5 through 3 here so we have concave up it's increasing as well so it's concave up okay in fact concavity we we don't have to worry for now we can always check at the end okay let's try to sketch the graph so it's going up down up down up so down up so zero will have a local minimum so going down and up okay so at zero yeah that's why it's a critical number zero is a critical number the derivative zero means uh, in fact here we have concave down sorry local minimum case what was I saying? I mean, I, I meant not concave down. It's local minimum case. It's local minimum, and this one equals zero. We get local maximum case. It's going up, down, down, up, and eventually the function goes to that one. So, and we don't have anything else to satisfy. So, going up all the way to negative three. So, at negative three, and then down and up. Okay. So you can go down i don't know it doesn't matter where you go so basically this one local mean and go up to this local max this one so it's not quite here okay in fact there are infinitely many correct answers answers so you just have to satisfy this one okay so local max local mean so derivative at negative 3 is 0 local max derivative at 0 is 0 that's the part a okay so it's a increasing decreasing increasing and eventually when x goes to 3 from left side goes to positive infinity we have a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote on the right okay and it's increasing now let's check the concavity so we have to have negative 1.5 through 3 concave up so negative 1.5 here to 3 is concave up yes okay so from here negative 1 this is neg negative 1 so negative 1.5 is here oh I, I i'm sorry i was saying here this is negative 1.5 so this is an inflection point this is concave up and this is concave down this should be yes negative infinity through negative 1.5 is concave down and we have a local max here local max and we have a local mean here local mean okay vertical asymptote horizontal asymptote I mean we, we can have maximum here as well just go there down here and eventually has to go there okay so this is one of many correct answers